Hello guys, welcome to another video. I am Khoish, you are watching Drift Up. So today I am going to compare Tata Harrier with Hyundai Creta with Jeep Compass and the Mahindra XUV 500. So which one is the best for you? Let's see. So starting with the Tata Harrier, Harrier utilized the Tata Motor Impact 2.0 design language to translate into stunning exterior and push interiors designed for practicality and comfort. Harrier make a dominating stance with HID projector headlamps, LED DRLs with turn indicators, muscular body work, fresh wheel arches, dual tone front bumper and 3D LED tail lamps are sticking piano black finish. Talking about the interior of the Harrier and some technology in it, the Tata Harrier features a signature ochre brown interior color scheme that comes with a premium Oka wood finish dashboard. Other key features include Oka brown perforated leather seats, upholstery and a door pad insert, leather wrap steering wheel and a gear shift knob, 8.8 inch HD touchscreen infotainment system with a JBL audio system and 9 speakers with it, 7 inch TFT instrumental cluster connected next Apple suit voice recognition and SMS readout. The next one is the Hyundai Creta. Talking about the exterior and its design, uh, the Creta utilizes a fluid sculpture 2.0 design language that creates the perfect blend of beauty and confidence. Creta has a modestic body work with refined details and graphics. It designed two turn heads with a bold cascading design, front grille, Stylish fog lamps, projector headlamps, stylish outside mirror, bold front rear skid plate, shark fin antenna and a premium split type tail lamp. Hyundai Creta dual tone color scheme and luxurious interior design for outmost comfort. The convenience and key features include 17.77 cm touchscreen infotainment system, fully automatic temperature control. FATC and a rear AC vent, Supremium cluster, front and rear armrest, 6-way adjustable driver seat, cruise control, back seat fabric with tangential orange inserts and smart electronic sunroof. The next one in the list is Mahindra XUV 500, makes a majestic stance and have a derived inspiration from the body lines of a Pouncing cheetah. The cheetah elements are evident in the raised bumper depicting cheetah slender yet strong shoulders, power shaped vertical door handles, and tear duct shaped black accent. Key features include bold front grills with chrome inserts, LED DRL, stylish fog lamp, blaze, classy tailgate, and split tail lamp, sporty diamond cut alloy wheels pronomatic wheel arches and chrome lined windows. The Mahindra XV500 features a dual tone black and tan color scheme that emits the feel of luxury and sophistication. Key features include soft touch dashboard, door trim, quality tan leather seat, icy blue lounge lighting, 6-way power adjustable driver seat, fully automatic temperature control, cruise control, electronic sunroof and 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Talking about the Jeep Compass, utilize a sculpture design authentic that creates a perfect fusion of authentic style and sweeping curves. It makes a standing stance with its sloping roof line and a powerful wing. It's a treat to view Compass key features such as headlamps with integrated LED DRL signature 7th slot grille and a body colored exterior mirrors with chrome arches. It has a dual tone black and sky grey interior offering both luxury and comfort and the right environment for off-road adventure key features include a 21.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system, dual panel, uh, panel panoramic sunroof, 8-way power adjustable driver seat, auto dimmy inside rear view mirror and a claustrophobic 8.89 cm graphic instrumental cluster with a 6 speaker sound system. So, little bit about the dimensions, let's talk. The Harrier measures a 4598 mm 
in length 18994 mm in width and 1706 mm in height its wheelbase is 4741 mm and ground clearance is under around 205 mm crater measures of 4270 in length uh, compared to harrier is much more bigger than the crater and uh, in all dimensions the crater width is 1780 and but the width of the harrier is 1894 which is much more bigger and the width is 1655 talking about the engine and transmission tata harrier is powered by a 2000 cc turbocharged diesel engine that delivers max power of 140 ps at 3750 rpm and max torque of around 350 newton meter at 1750 to 2500 rpm transmission uh, is about a 6 speed manual transmission and the next one is the creta available in the two diesel options with a 1400 cc engine which makes a 90 ps of power and made it a 6 speed manual transmission and a 1600 cc diesel engine which makes it 128 ps of power and made it to either a 6 speed manual and a 6 speed automatic transmission